Akash and I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer and at the same time a Microsoft MVP in business applications uh, working with the Dynamics 365 and Power Platform. Now today in this video I will tell you how to write PowerFX in the command bar of a home grid. You know that whenever you open any model driven app you click any sub area that is pointing to an entity then it opens the main grid right this is the main view you can uh, switch one view to another view that's fine if i want to uh, switch to this view i can switch this view but this is called as main grid and this main grid has some buttons here associated right at the top so this button or this ribbon but uh, this command bar called as main grid command bar but when you open a, a specific record you will find another uh, command bar right so this is called as form grid uh, sorry form uh, what is that let me tell you main form grid right so this is called as main form buttons ribbon common buttons but if you click on this view whatever you see here this is called as main grid commands so in my last video uh, here you will see in the subject plan i have already created a video to uh, show you how you can use the conditional visibility of the command button and the uh, action to use power fx um, on the main form right main form uh, command bar command button but in this video i'll show you how you can manipulate buttons here create new buttons and uh, set the conditional visibility and when you select uh, multiple uh, rows how you can interact uh, with this data using this button you can see here what i have done you see there is a, i have created a button called as update as public and that button is initially not visible right so i have given a condition whenever at least one record is selected then only this button is visible right if nothing is selected that will be hidden at least one or more record selected then this button will be visible so how this conditional visibility power fx is written that i will show you the conditional visibility using power fx for a main grid next what it will action what it will act if you click that let's say i am uh, clicking uh, two rows so this is one row and another row so these two accounts uh, ownership is blank right and i want to update the ownership as public for both the accounts so i can select multiple accounts and click on this button i have created so i have uh, written some power effects on the action of this button so if you click this it will update the uh, uh, the uh, ownership of this two account as public you see both account ownership is updated as public so let us see how i, I have written the action command uh, and the visibility condition conditional visibility command using power fx so so this is the command bar i am using main grid of account right you have to use a model driven app editor then you have to go to the uh, account uh, account page any page that you want to edit just use these three dots and click on edit command bar it will open this interface and here you can click on the plus icon to add commands here at any place of this list i have added this command and associated a label an icon and in the visibility i have used so on conditional from formula now if you click this you will see that i have written what is that uh, formula if so in the visible property of the button if count row count row is a power fx to count the number of items a number of rows selected so if count row self dot selected all items so this will give you all the items that are selected in a main grid if the count of count rows of this selected rows is greater than zero only then only visible equal to true else visible equal to false you see this um, formula so remember this power fx will check the condition that whether the at least one record is selected from the main grid then it the button will be displayed otherwise it will false this is the visibility condition and you see it is working fine right so if nothing is selected that is hidden right just uh, let me refresh so if 
I'll go to account so by default the button will not be visible until unless you click a at least one record so let the command bar load the button is not displayed if you click this it will display it. now this is because of this uh, condition visibility condition next, next what is the action I have taken what action when you click multiple rows and click this button it is changing the ownership uh, type is public for all account selected right so what action I have written go here and check go to action and open formula bar here you will see I'm using a for loop in power effects we have a function called as for all which is used to loop through a list of records so uh, to which list you want to uh, loop through the list record is self dot selected dot all items that means any item any row that are selected it will loop through and what it will do every time it will loop uh, doing looping it will patch the field patch means update updating accounts the source this record this record is the current looping record okay and uh, what that it will update ownership ownership dot public you see this is a json uh, object you have to pass in colibrises and if, if you want to update other uh, information also you can use comma and update Con comma and pass the value of the field so this is the for loop we are using so you understand how to work with uh, visibility conditional visibility and actions using for loop for uh, home grid command bar main, main grid command bar i hope you understand and please practice on on your own and let me know in comment thank you guys